everyone, I'm Girly Pants, and um, this is going to be Colouring Down Under, which basically is just to let people know that I'm in, a, in Australia. I'm actually, the closest capital city to me would be Brisbane, so in Queensland. So, um, I figured there's not that many people streaming in Australia. Uh, of course, we've got the lovely Peter Hewitt, and... Apart from that, I'm terribly sorry, but I haven't actually noticed any other um, YouTubers that are streaming from Australia. So it does make it kind of hard in the afternoon or during the day when you want to watch a live stream. And, you know, the live streaming isn't going to begin until after midnight. So I figure, seeing as I can't watch a live stream at the times, different times of the day when I'm available, I figure the best, next best thing is to do a live stream. So this is a really basic setup that I've got going on here. I'm just over eager. The live stream should start tomorrow, but I just got like the camera mount thing. It's just one of those bendy, tubey things. Um, so I've done this intro video now probably about half a dozen times. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, uh, the first few, the, the video came out upside down and then I turned the phone around and it still came upside down. So I think it was just the orientation of the, like, the tilt on the thing when I started. Um, if you don't like the lighting, like if I've done the lighting wrong, um, if, I don't know, if the camera's too bouncy or it's not in the right place or something please let me know because I'm happy to try and make improvements within budgetary constraints. So, like, at the moment, all of my lighting... Oops, there goes a packet of crackers. Okay. All, all of my lighting at the moment is just being done with these little clip lamps. So they're just a little touch lamp. And this is one I normally keep because uh, they get really bright there. But, yeah, this is one I normally have situated like that at the top of my walking stick, which is handy for me to go up and down the stairs at night, and I don't have to worry about turning light switches on and off and all the rest of it. But I do have more of those lights around here. Um, so I've got one up here somewhere um, connected to this, to this bendy arm thing. I've got another one on the table on this side. Um, as well as fluorescent lighting on behind me and everything. So we can always adjust lighting to suit. Uh, zooming in and out will be difficult at the moment because I don't know much about these sorts of things. And I had, my intent was to actually pull the camera down and put it back up. But the problem is every time you even touch the camera at all, the whole thing goes bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So, yeah, I don't think moving the camera is going to be a really good idea. Anyways, a little bit about me. I've been working on this picture here. Uh, Shailene and Grace have both had a uh, Crayola challenge going on, so that's what that is. Um, just something pretty to look at, I guess. But um, I've got chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia, so I, the only way that I could foreseeably see maintaining any sort of a stream was that I had to be able to do it from my recliner chair. So this is, you know, welcome to my lap. This is my lap. But under here I've just got um, a nice little frilly, uh, what do you call it, boomerang pillow. It's just a really, really old pillow. It's really been flattened out through the years. It's falling apart, literally falling apart. Um... And it's held together with an old pillowcase and then a pillow protector and then it's got the black case over it. But it's such a handy thing because it's it's reasonably firm. It's still firm enough to colour on. And um, I do funny things with it too. Like you'll see quite often if, if I'm using my blender pencil, I will stop and clean the pencil on the pillowcase. <laughs> but that's okay this is my workbench so um and the same with paint brushes if the paint brush is too wet or something and it's just water i will actually just wipe it off on my pillowcase here because that's what it's for so 
you know, when it starts to get a bit dirty, I can throw it in the wash. At one stage, I actually took to the pillowcase with Prismacolors. I got it in my head. I just wanted to draw flowers on my pillowcase. They washed out, of course, but it was lots of fun. Um, so, yeah, basically, I'll just be doing, like, colour-alongs. I'll do uh, some, you know, product reviews of things like this little pencil case. Anything that I find handy. Anything that I find that makes my life easier. Um... You know, and even because I'm a sucker for buying cheap pencils. Yes, I've got my Prismacolors now. It took me over two years to build my set of 150 Prismacolors. But I am a sucker for buying cheap pencils. So in the back of my Crayola case here, I have a full set of my favourite cheap pencils and um, a little set of what they call... um neon pencils or highlighter pencils as well and I will be t telling people about these because I think anyone in Australia that wants to have a crack at colouring as annoying as these pencils are that they are absolutely lovely to use so we'll talk about those at some point as well because I think all Australians need to find out where they can go and buy those and as I said they're just absolutely lovely but um We'll go through a whole heap of things on the channel and as we go and we work in various books. As I said, this is just a book I picked up at Big W or somewhere in the in the cattle run getting to the checkout. Um, but I do have other books here and if I find books that are on sale somewhere or you can get a good deal, um, I'll certainly let you know. Um, so yeah that's pretty much me um you know i don't know uh, what we're going to do if ever i fall asleep on stream because <laughs> that will be interesting for sure um but yeah hopefully that won't happen so yeah if, if all of a sudden i turn around and say oh look guys i'm sorry i have to lay down now i actually mean now because <laughs> yeah last night i was pushing myself to get little bits on this done fell asleep woke up this morning with the book on my lap, pencils on the side here, and the um, a pencil still in hand. So, um, you yeah, know, that does happen to me, unfortunately. So, uh, anyways, let's cross our fingers that we can have a little bit of discipline and sort of say, nope, too tired right now to stream, no matter how excited I might be. So, yeah, that's it for me. Um, I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. But, yeah, just wanted to say hello get this done like you know get get something up on on the screen so that we can see how it works and what the lighting's like and everything and see how many times i've said um i mean you could always turn that to a drinking game couldn't you because <laughs> i'm sure i'm going to say that a lot uh there's a little dog running around here somewhere too he's normally good and quiet but Occasionally he comes up for attention or he decides he's heard something outside he wants to bark at and then we'll have to stop and deal with that as well. So aside from that, it should be smooth sailing. So I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow. And uh, I don't know how it'll go or anything like that because it's live, so who knows? But we'll give it a go. Alrighty, until then, everybody have fun. Make the most of your day, no matter what your day brings. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, I can't find the stop button. That's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> Did it stop? No? Maybe now? Oh, come on. I can still see it. Sorry guys, bye!